Hey everyone, and welcome to Eurochem TV, where we discuss and demonstrate all things Eurochem. Today we're going to do a really quick video on just how to use the Eurochem paint cups. If you order a car kit or a motorcycle kit that includes your base coat and clear coat together, you're going to receive some of these Eurochem branded paint cups. And uh, we have these specifically set up to make it easier for you to use the product. So the base coat, our Eurochem Slick Base base coat, we're going to mix at a 2 to 1 ratio. So we're going to turn our cup here to this two to one column. So we're not going to mix a whole lot, but let's uh, set it at the two. So in this column, two to one, the 10% ratio is not really applicable to us right now. So we're going to go with the two and we're just going to use this number two here in the first column, which is going to be the actual base coat itself. And then we'll bring it up to the next two with our urethane reducer. So two parts base coat, one part reducer. The numbers on the columns here are always gonna work left to right, just like we're reading a book. And these are not, uh, these have nothing to do with volume, okay? So if you're, if you're trying to measure it out and use exactly a uh, precise amount, then you'll have to check the other side of the cup that shows you. We're going to bring it right up to the number two there in our first column, first row. And let's grab us some reducer. left or right just like we're reading a book you can see that our material is now up to that second row in the column two to one okay let's move over to our US series color seal primer here This product is going to mix four one to one. So that's four parts primer, one part reducer, and one part activator. Again, we're gonna work left to right, just like we're reading the book. And we're gonna use the four one to one column. Again, we'll work off the number two. So our first column, first row of the column, we're gonna fill to this number two. We're gonna go one column to the right, one row to the right, to the next number two one row to the right again to the following number two okay all staying in this four one to one column and there's number fill to number two with the primer the next two do not have to go in a particular order so we've just got your chem activator so we're going to go up to the next number two right here to the immediately to the right staying in the same column and again we're going to move to the right one more time with our reducer Always be sure to really scrape the bottom and the sides to really be sure you're getting everything incorporated really well. All right, and then we'll see again after we've done all that. That's where our volume's at, okay? We'll see after we've mixed everything really well. There we are. We're in our four one to one column. And 
we, we were running off to number two. So we used first row with primer. Immediately to the right, we went with our activator. And immediate to the right, to the next two, we went with reducer. Do one more for you. It's gonna be our UC 410 clear, four to one. Four parts clear coat, one part activator. So we're actually gonna use the same column the four one to one. But since we only have two parts, we only need the first two rows. So we're gonna go four parts clear, one part activator. Again, we're gonna just use the number two for today's example. So we're gonna fill up the number two with clear, move over one row to the right, again up to the two with activator. Move over one row, go up to the two, activator. Thanks for joining us today on Eurochem TV.